Hello friends, so as uh, some of you are already aware that I am not uh, in India at this point of time. So it's a bit difficult for me to make the videos as I do when I am in India. So what I've decided is that we will do some numericals which are a bit easier to make for me uh, right uh, staying here. So uh, we will try to cover some numericals. So in this video I will just be covering two numericals because uh, this is the first time I am doing something like this. So let us see how it goes uh, on. So we'll start with the numericals, we'll start with some basic numericals and we'll move to more complicated numericals as you get comfortable with these things. So uh, this is the first numerical. So in the uh, what they have given here is that it is a 220 volt induction motor, three phase, six pole, 50 hertz and it is running at a slip of 3.5 percentage. That's very important. And what they've asked to find out is the speed of the magnetic field in RPM, speed of the rotor in RPM the slip speed of the rotor and the rotor frequency in hertz. So as in all numericals, we have to write first what is given in the numerical. Okay, So we will just write down now what is given in the numerical. So the given quantities are, it is a 220 volt induction motor and it is a three phase induction motor. right? And the number of poles P is equal to 6, frequency electrical is equal to 50 hertz and at this point of time, the slip of the induction motor is 3.5 percentage. So that is slip is equal to 0 0.035. Okay, so these are the quantities that is given. So let us uh, write the formulas for each one. So first is the uh, the first one is the speed of the magnetic field. So A is the speed of the magnetic. We know that the speed of the magnetic field is nothing but the synchronous speed, which is n sync or n s, right? Or n s. So n s is equal to 120 f electrical divided by p simple problem. So this is equal to 120 into F electrical value is given to be 50 hertz. So that is 50 divided by number of poles is 6. Okay. So this will give you 1000 RPM. So that is the first part of the problem. The second part of the problem B here is to find the speed of the rotor in RPM. Okay. So you have to find the value of NR. So NR you know that it is equal to NS into 1 minus slip at which the uh, value has to be found out. So here it is given that the slip at which the speed has to be found out is 0 0.035 and ns value we have already found to be 1000 rpm. So we will write down that so 1000 into 1 minus 0 0.035 okay. So this you will get it as 965 rpm. Now I have already done these calculations. Uh, you have to do this on your own again. Just do not write down what I am writing down here. Okay. So now the third part of the problem is to find the slip speed of the rotor. Okay, The slip speed of the rotor, the slip speed is nothing but the difference between the synchronous speed and the rotor speed. Okay, So ns minus nr is the slip speed. So that is equal to 1000 minus 965. So this will give you around uh, 35 rpm. So that is the slip speed of the rotor. And final part of the problem is to find the rotor frequency in hertz. So the rotor frequency you know that fr is equal to s into f electrical this is a standard uh, equation so you know that so s is given to be point so the s value here is 0 0.035 and the frequency electrical is 50 hertz so we'll substitute that so this is 0 0.035 into 50 hertz so that will give you a value of 1.75 hertz please do check these calculations if there are any mistake Please put them in the comments below. Okay, so now we'll move on to the next part of this problem. So what they have asked here is now for the same numerical. So all the values are same. You have to find the same parameters. That is the what all parameters we have found in the previous section. That is the synchronous speed, rotor speed, slip speed, and rotor frequency. Now they have changed. It is a two pole and sixty hertz machines. So poles is two poles, and uh, the frequency electrical is sixty hertz. So first you have to find synchronous speed, right? So this will be equal to 120 into F electrical divided by P. So it is 120 into 60 divided by 2. Now you can see as the frequency is increasing and the number of poles is reducing, the synchronous speed will increase. So if you calculate this value, you will get it as 3600 RPM. Okay, so please do that calculation. So next one is the rotor speed. So the rotor speed NR is equal to NS into 1 minus s right n s into 1 minus s. So this value will be equal to 3600 into 1 minus they have told that the slip value uh, here sorry there is a slip value also the slip value here is 0 0.025 for 
forgot to write that slip value is 0 0.025 so this is 0 0.025 this is given in the numerical okay so don't worry this is given in the numerical so for this particular slip uh, condition uh, the speed of the rotor will be 3510 rpm 3510 rpm and the third part is to find the slip speed right third part is to find the slip speed slip speed is nothing but ns minus nr so that will be 3600 this value minus this value 3510 so that is equal to around uh, 90 rpm this value is 90 rpm and finally you have to find the rotor frequency fr so that is s into f electrical so slip value is 0 0.025 multiplied by f electrical for this numerical is 60 hertz right it is 60 hertz so into 60 so this will be around 1.5 hertz so this value is 1.5 hertz so with this we will just move on to the next part of the numerical this is also a simple numerical but all these numericals will help you understand the concept in a much better fashion so let us see what they have given they have given it is a three phase 60 hertz induction motor and the induction motor runs at 715 rpm at no load condition this is important it runs at uh, 715 rpm at no load condition and it runs at 670 rpm at full load condition this is also important. it is running at 670 rpm at full load condition you have to find how many poles the machine has slip at the rated load and speed at one fourth of the rated load okay so we'll do we'll see how to do this problem before that we'll just write down what is given about the machine so it is a three-phase machine and the f electrical of the machine is given to be 60 hertz right it is given to be 60 hertz and what they have given is that the nr at the no load condition nr at the no load condition is 715 rpm right and the nr in the full load condition is given to be 670 rpm full load condition in the sense at the rated load so the first question to find a is what is the number of poles now you know that n sync is equal to 120 f electrical divided by p this is a standard formula so p is equal to 120 f electrical divided by n sync now i already told you the at the no load condition nr at the no load condition is very close to the synchronous speed right it is very close to the synchronous speed so we will just put that value instead of we will put n nr in nr at no load condition instead of the synchronous speed and we will find what is the number of poles that we are getting so number of poles we will find it as 120 into 60 divided by uh, what is the value nr at no load is nr at no, no load is 715 rp right so divided by 715 so you will get the value to be equal to 10.06 uh, so it is 10.0 but you cannot have a pole which is having 10.06 so you have to round it off to the closest number so this will be 10 pole machine so this will be a 10 pole machine okay so this is how you find out so it is a 10 pole machine so don't take 10.06 it is 10 pole machine and now we will again find what is the synchronous speed as the numerical is going to proceed so that you will find out what is the actual synchronous speed now we have just approximated n sync to be equal to n uh, r at no load condition okay so next is the slip at the rated load right now the next condition is to find slip at the rated load you know the value of slip right so slip at the rated load slip at rated load right so it is n sync minus n r at the rated load or the full load divided by n sync so here you have to find what is the value of n sync right so n sync is equal to 120 f electrical divided by p so you already found the machine to be a 10 pole machine so 120 into 60 divided by 10 so what will you get the value the value here you get here let me just check the value it is 720 rpm so it is we see it's very close to 715 see 715 was the uh, value at no load and 720 rpm is the actual synchronous speed so the values are quite close to each other so there is no problem in that approximation so now you have the value and uh, the next thing you, what you need is nr at full load condition so nr at full load condition is already given to be 670 rpm so we will write down those 720 minus 670 divided by 720 okay so if you multiply by 100 you will get it in percentage value so you will get it to be 6.94 percentage the slip value is 6.94 percentage sorry now the c part of the question is to find the speed at the one fourth of rated load 
so you have to find n r at one fourth of the full load condition so n r is equal to n sync so synchronous speed value is not going to change it is 120 f by p but here when you put 1 minus s you have to find the slip at one fourth of full load slip at one fourth of full load so how do you find the slip at one fourth of full load now you've seen that see it is one fourth of rated load right so the torque demand was, is also reduced to one fourth of the rated load so if you assume that the machine is working in the linear region which the machine is so if the torque is reduced to one fourth of the initial value the slip see the machine usually works in this area right in the linear region so if the torque so this is the torque induced and this is the slip graph so if the torque is reducing naturally uh, the slip also will reduce accordingly because the relation between the torque and slip is linear in this region so when torque reduces by one fourth the slip also will reduce by one fourth sorry one fourth okay so slip at the uh, full load condition we already found slip at the rated condition is 6.94 percentage right 6.94 percentage so the slip at the one fourth of full load condition will be 1 by 4 into this value 1 by 4 into this value here so that is 1 by 4 into 0 0.0694 so this value will be equal to 0 0.01735 right it is 0 0.01735 so once you have all these values you can easily find out the value so nr at one fourth of full load will be equal to n sink into 1 minus slip at one fourth of full load because the torque slip is assumed to be linear so this is equal to 720 into 1 minus we have just found out this value 0 0.01735 so this is around 708 rp this is 708 rp so these are some type of numericals that you might find uh, sometimes they might ask for half full load so you have to just take the slip value as half value or 1 16 or 1 8th of the full load condition so you can take 1 8th of the or 1 16th of the slip value okay so this is how you do this numerical i hope you like this video please like share and subscribe the channel so till i see you in the next video it's me varun signing off and have a great day thank you